So why do organisations put so much time and effort into creating high trust workplaces? Well, they do this because it creates a better environment to work in and also to manage in. But importantly, because it leads to success. Independent research by Russell Investment Consultants compared the returns from investments in the S&P 500 and the Russell 3000 indices over a 10 year period with the best workplaces as published in the Fortune 100 magazine. They actually found that the best workplaces outperformed the other indices by four times. So specifically, where do organisations see the benefits of high trust? Often it shows itself through higher levels of productivity. Organisations tell us that they manage to attract better talent into the organisation when people know it's a great place to work. They want to come and work there. They also manage to retain people. They want to stay there longer because they like the culture. Their engagement levels are much, much higher. So they want to give more of themselves to the organisation. They're constantly thinking about the organisation. And loyalty is something that is strong within those organisations. Motivation levels are higher. It becomes contagious and innovation thrives. From the cost perspective, they tend to go down. The costs of hiring and recruiting new people and training them up all go down because you don't need to, because you're retaining more people. Your absenteeism rates go down. And we actually have seen recently that absenteeism has been replaced by presenteeism. This is simply where people turn up to work, but they're not fully there. And that has a huge impact on other people in the organisation. So clearly, building a high trust workplace is not only the right thing to do, but it's also the smart thing to do for business success.